where we are Nora, and we are trying to find our husband, who went on an expedition to an island near Tahiti to find a cure for our affliction, but have never returned, or has not returned. We are following his notes to figure out where he has gone, solving puzzles. We had just completed a puzzle with symbols based on the tides to get where we are now and after inputting them correctly, this bridge of rocks formed out of the ground. Their ship was stranded and they could not leave. But they found stairs leading to some temple. So they said, Whoa, there is absolutely something mysterious going on. We heard a voice call us earlier. We saw a large, hulking sea creature calling to us in what might have been a dream or potentially reality. Who is to say? So is this giant rock out cropping. It looks like there's a button here. We're rising. We're rising to the top. And there's a couple of buttons. Four buttons. A little briefcase here with a note. My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you. But it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. And we almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Avery, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always. Harry. Oh, Harry. Poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. There's a temple on the mountain's peak. Apparently, somewhere. Uh, strange things are happening. People have been lost. How do I know which buttons to press? One of the diamonds has surged out. Oh, and another right behind it. Well, how about the next one? We are playing the giant organ that is this island. And lastly, Maybe it's because I haven't spent as much time here as Harry. 
island feels plenty dangerous to me. There is black ooze that is making people go insane. And more. More darkness afoot. So it seems the loud crashing of the lightning. The door has opened up and we are going to walk inside up the stairs. But all of these hexagonal stones basalt structures that can just move at will it seems oh, the next journey the next chapter is upon us Whew, that was quite a hike but we've made it chapter four quite a show it is a different day all the way up here. We are almost, or we are above the clouds. Beautiful rain, fog everywhere, various shapes, lovely music. It's the diamond. What does it mean? The diamond shapes. At the top of the mountain, I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. Yes, as if the game was reading my mind. Don't no trip on the tarot route. Oh, there's man-made structures up here, and whoa, that must be the temple. Wow. Okay. Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. We have a couple ways to go, it seems. Let's explore. Whoa. The views. The is so refreshing. Feels really good. The view is more or less just the clouds. So what is this? The people to this are these figures singing like a choir uh, maybe they are singing is this going to make me sing do we have to deal with frequencies it's a staircase we keep walking around here though more it's like a Heavens, hook it looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents all but one. <gasps> Did people die. There's a note in this tent. They didn't accept Frank in the university. They should be ashamed. Dear Mr. Drayton, we acknowledge receipt of your letter of July 30th, enclosing your application for admission to our School of Engineering. I am sorry to inform you that we are not authorized to consider a colored person for admission. I regret we cannot help you in this regard. Oh, wow. Okay. He was the best gosh darn engineer that this expedition ever had. For shame. University of... Ah, it's blurred out. Probably on purpose. So here's this... Oh wait, is there a little box? I'm Miss not sure if Harry ever got to read this note. Mr. Ever... Harry, you are a good man. I know you love your wife. Do yourself a favor. And return home to her. Here you won't find anything but death. Leave now. Cass will try to convince you to do otherwise. She's only interested in getting a good story. Don't listen to her. I have no strength left. I'm 
I'm sorry. Goodbye. I guess that might be from Frank then. Because who was it? Roy. Let's look at, uh, where was the picture? Yeah, we had the Tahitian. From left to right, we had the Tahitian uh, guide. We had Roy, who died in the explosion. Uh, Harry in the middle, Frank in the back, Cassandra. And then uh, Dr. DeWitt. So maybe Dr. DeWitt's probably gone. So at this point, it was Harry, Frank, and Cassandra. Okay. Oh, it's the, the. Okay, yeah. Interesting. What does this have to say? This says, huh, okay, just a, a picture of some of these rocks. Oh, they have someone, like a human, chained up. What the heck? Uh, I'm pressing some buttons, but I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's stable that one for now. Oh, another box. What's inside of it? Oh, dear. Oh, I'm sorry, but art has never been your thing, old man. Oh, did Harry try to draw a picture of us? Oh, Harry, yeah. So, sorry, uh, yeah. Sorry, Harry. That, uh, yeah. Okay, so... The only tent that came out of the rock slide in one piece is the one filled with amulets. Is that maybe on uh, purpose? A torn picture. Maybe the Polynesian guide didn't like people taking pictures of his scar. Interesting. Uh, where did he get his scar? Almost like the, uh, what is it, Barbara Dreisand effect, whatever, when by ripping up the picture of his scar makes more people think about it than if just he never said anything in the first place. Whoa, okay. So, we're at, this must be the opening. I mean, since they're not here, they must have found a way. This door looks thicker than any I've ever seen. They must have found a way somehow. So, oh, they have some some radios set up. There's a symbol inside. Okay. So, multiple different symbols. The rock face I found over on that side had one of the symbols. Okay. Homemade loudspeakers. Probably to amplify the sound. But what do I do with them? So there's what three sets I know four sets of loudspeakers. Okay. Homemade loudspeakers. There are some sort of sound devices built around this amphitheater. Yeah, pointing different frequencies at it. What is this? Okay, this this is one that's on the right side. It they look to well, I guess that person's holding the symbol. Oh, it's in order. That one goes forth. Maybe. And then the other one I have goes second. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe. Let's, let's look at the other uh, inscriptions. Oh, wait, this one's also second. Okay, then, wait, that doesn't help very much. Um, What are we 
you supposed to do with that? Let's just investigate all of them first. Yeah, and then the last one fell down. Oh, here's a, here's a record player. Let's see what it says. I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. I am so stupid. Such an arrogant idiot. That rock side could have killed everybody. All thanks to my stubbornness. Hmm. No power. No power to so. Uh, so I. I guess Frank. statues that we need to locate. And then, so they did something wrong. They used the same notes as last time, but that was not the correct ones, apparently. Oh, a grave. It says Frank on it. Oh, boy. Frank treat. had a daughter named Evangeline. What a darling. Oh my goodness. That's so sad. Oh, Frank. So that he, he died for this. Don't really know how. What's this over here? Looks like a, a water wheel, maybe for the for the power. To generate electricity under the falling water, but the stream isn't close enough to the wheel. What do we do in this situation? How do we? There's multiple levers here. Just pull a lever out. levers connect those gears to direct the wheel's energy into the turbine. Okay, okay. What is this? Blood soaked rags. Blood soaked rags. A Bible. It must have belonged to Frank. And a note. He thought it was a flesh wound, but it kept getting worse. I try to do something with this wound from DeWitt's attack. No matter what I do, it still looks infected. I feel worse every day. Ah, oh, so we end up dying from DeWitt's attack. Ah, oh, it's so sad. No power. something with this turbine. It's like gears don't do anything. What do you think over here? Oh, it's a little bit dark over here. Oh, where's a button? Okay, I, I matched the button up with the holes I think they're supposed to go through. They weren't in the correct holes. 
just this water wheel somehow. Because we need to push it out so it, it hits it hits the falling uh, falling river. Or can we do anything about that river? Make it fall less steep. Let's see, let's see. Anything else we can press on over here? Does this do anything at all? Because I thought this was just to get it like the hole. Well, I guess that hole is not in the right spot. Can I crouch in this game? So I'm not sure what those do then. What do those dots mean? Can I just pull the handle from this side? <laughs> finally do get to know him he's so witty so funny a loving person but it takes a lot for him to open up he built all this just with pieces from a beached ship frank sure must be a real whiz yeah seriously frank's an engineering pro wow okay we have a lot of stuff over here to look at i guess let's go inside and see what there is Low spirits are obvious in this photo. What was wrong with Frank? He looks so thin. Ah, that infection. So it's just the guide, Cassandra, Harry, and Frank. Yeah, Frank looks so thin. They built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ. Very clever, old pal. Reproducing the effect of the organ loudspeaker generators. Okay, nice. What is this? Nakal? So, this is like Atlantis, but in the Pacific Ocean, right? According to the legend that said the continent of Mew sank into the Pacific thousands of years ago. Its massive stone structures, general, generally irregular in shape, contrasted with the unique use of diamond shapes. This is reminiscent of other rhomboid symbols such as the lozenge or the Hindu Lakshmi star. However, experts believe that in the specific case of the Nakal structures, instead of representing fertility and prosperity, the rhombus was a sign of transformation and evolution. Okay. Okay. It's a picture of the site. Harry's convinced the answer to my illness lies inside that temple. Black ooze and Nora's illness. How do you, if you can solve the black ooze, you can solve the illness. I'll have to use.
use the ship's turbine and jackle with the things I got from the ship to make this work. Let's see if I manage to power the whole set just with the scarce materials, scarce materials that I have. Okay. This little ladder we can climb. There's some loudspeakers up here. And keep going up. So I guess we won't be able to do much up here. We have to uh, that is a door now. turn on the power first. Oh, there's some stuff behind. There's some more items over there. We're gonna have to figure out this generator somehow. Okay, let's go back down. Didn't really accomplish much up here, but hey, it's a nice view. Um, just gotta keep looking. How can we get to that generator in? Missing something so very obvious with that button. Just try to. What's, what's worked other times in this game was just collect all the information before you try to do anything. Looks like a sneaky snapshot. She doesn't look at all happy. She didn't like her photo being taken here. That's interesting. Why was that sitting back there? Okay, okay. It seems like we're missing like at least one more of those things. Just by blank space on the page, which seems kind of cheating, but that's okay. <laughs> had one of those pictures on them. I guess that one does not. Okay. So we have four, which kind of makes sense. How do we get in that door? So this is the balls on top and bottom. 
that's on the right. So we'll just click that on the right. And this last one is the line on the right side, which is on the top. More um, water. The hatches are opening. Whoa, okay. More hatches are opening. The stones are vibrating. We, we got the correct pattern. Okay, maybe we did have to do that before the water wheel would activate. Ah, oh, yes, the water wheel is spinning now. Okay, okay, I thought I was doing something wrong. I thought I was doing something wrong over here, but we just had to match it all up first. We gotta connect each one. We have to connect that one first. I didn't. I wish we didn't have to like run around every time. So that looks like the bottom right. Okay, let's let's just see if this works. Is it the bottom? Uh, okay. All right, we got to go back. Uh, needless walking. At least we'll get our steps in. This one looks like it's also on the bottom. In fact, they might just all be on the bottom, I think. But now that one's spinning. Okay, cool. We figured it out. Let's get the generator working. Perfect, perfect. Now that spins the turbine. What does this mean? These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. Can I just get more? On one of these puzzles. Oh, it turns off the ones next to them. Okay, alright, okay, okay. So I guess the goal would be to get three of them off in a row. So if I just do this and then this, ah, maximum. The turbine some energy. Uh, excuse me, maximum power. So let's just flip all the switches. Sure. We did it. Now everything should be powered. Well, I gotta flip the rest of the switches first, but we're doing it. Man, nice. We got the turbine up and running. That is. Very impressive. Alright, let's get the loudspeakers working. And so, do we have the correct notes in place, or was, was the whole vibrating stones the correct notes? Oh, it's, it's light in here now. Just power. Oh, I should probably follow this. I'm following the, uh, so that goes, yeah, in there, uh, loops around. Goes back up, okay. Because I know that there's more switches around than just these loud speakers as well. So let's climb back up here. And keep climbing again. This turned on. Nice. Well, what? Did I do something wrong? Come on, work. Come on. Ah. Oh, I just fell off. Uh oh. Oh no, what happened? Ah. Um. No, just about it. What's happening this time? Where am I? I'm in some desert. Man, last time I was compelled to walk forward to some monster, but now we are in the desert. What looks like the monster's bones. I feel the fever rising. Oh God, no. My illness is a 
coming back. We were so close to the temple too. We need to go back. Is this? Oh, I can hear the voices in my head calling back out to us. Uh, An ocean. An ocean that dried up. This looks like the sea creatures that we saw in the ocean. Is this millennia in the future? Oh, we're going to die lying in this bed but here it won't be today it won't be today damn it it won't be today and here he was always right by our side trying to help us find some shade before i dry right up uh, just got to keep walking it's the diamond shape again wait this looks like the mountain this looks like the ocean, right? The horseshoe shaped pillar. And that diamond shape again. It looks like we're... At that island. Either, well... Seemingly in the future. Because we saw... That giant, giant creature. We were compelled to walk towards them. And we looked at our hands, and we had webbed fingers. Much more of this. I feel woozy. Just a little bit further, Nora. Just walk towards the crescent shape. Is, is that a house? It. That. That's a house. Is that a house? That's what I said. It just, it's, it's that like fish swimming around it in this desert air? How can that be? There's this ball of mist around it. Wait, it's filling with water right before our eyes. That's not a house. That's our house in Englewood. What? It's, we're having a vision of our house. I mean, we had a vision of our bed. And now of our house. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, it seems. We're underwater again. Somehow the desert turned to turned to water. Our mailbox. That's our mailbox too. Whoa. What? Uh, Harry? Uh, are you home? What if he was home? What if he was right inside this whole time? <gasps> okay. Uh, Harry. I miss you so much, old pal. Nora and Harry. Just everything's floating. A picnic with Harry's brother and sisters. I started wearing gloves shortly after that day. One of the last memories of hers. Looks like you can see a little bit of scars or the ooze on her hands. <sighs> okay. We'll keep I'm going up. Definitely losing my mind. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. This is 
This is not just... I don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you... This can't be real. And we're no longer underwater. We are in... Looks like the office. The Everhart Tucson. What a duo. Harry on the piano. Nora singing what it looks like. Harry gave me this necklace after one of his scavenger hunts. After one of his scavenger hunts? Is that necklace like from... Wait. She's not wearing... She's not wearing gloves in this picture. After one of his scavenger hunts. Is, is that before she got their illness? I seem to forget um, if she had her illness always as a child. I, I think they did say that her mother had the illness too, right? Because I'm just thinking, what if Harry gave her a artifact from some ancient civilization and it laid a curse upon her or it had some black ooze on it that spread to her unknowingly and Harry felt so burdened with guilt that he would do anything to solve it. Whoa. It's a photo of my mother and me. She had just gotten worse from her illness. Oh no, she has the illness too. You can see it on her neck. Uh, wearing turtlenecks to try to cover it up. But it still doesn't help all the way. Okay, so never mind about that idea I just said. Because <laughs> that's right, it came from her family. Her mother had it as well. Whatever dream or vision we are currently having is just it's memories. We're just thinking about our memories. The happiest day of my life. <laughs> and one of the few pictures of Harry without his glasses. <laughs> yes, the Everhart duo. My mother's music box. Yet again. The music box. What is this? Greetings from Jan Flay. Is cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. I wish you were here, Cousin Robert. Yeth. Is that where we're at now? Are we at this, like, sunken city of Yeth Flay? How many cousins? Someone's calling us here. The music box. Wait, is the music box of frequency the one that we need? Is that what opens it up? What a sweet melody. Is that what's going to be the key? music box is the key how did we have the key this whole time dun, 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 dun. Uh, what what was that another vivid dream it seemed oh, like a music box again but it wasn't broken anymore and what a catchy tune I'm not going back up there. The fuse box is already providing okay. electricity to this entire setup. That music box in our dreams. It is that the sound? I've lived more in these last two days than in the previous six years. With my illness, I'd forgotten about the kind of person I am. I might not be daring, but I am determined. Love gave me strength. But it also gave me something to lose. And we will stay determined. And we will solve this. Oh, this filled with water. That's exactly it. Remember there being, yes. The 
loudspeaker, I just have to sing the melody from the music box. Is that what the mom's music box sounded like? She mentioned that it used to be broken. Is that what it played when it still worked? Or was the sound given to us in a dream? So we sing. I haven't sung since I got sick, but let's give it a shot. <gasps> it's working. It's echoing everywhere. It's it's opening. Is our mother and our lineage, our DNA, connected to this island? We have a connection that we don't know about. This island really is calling us. But we've opened up the temple door. But I think we'll go in it next time on Call of the Sea. What is in the temple? What could be in the temple? Oh, could the answers to our illness, what took our mother, and what won't take us, be in there? Let's find out. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye, my friends. <laughs>